Good news desk and let's start off in Mombasa County where the president was launching an HPV vaccine and that's where we start off our bulletin this morning. I'd like us to listen in and President Uhuru Kenyatta has launched the human papillomavirus uh, vaccine this afternoon in Mombasa Ziwani area. Kenya now joins the list of 10 other African countries currently offering the vaccine to girls. Administration of the vaccine has been proven to prevent against cervical cancer that kills nine women every day. The rollout was initially planned for early last year, but was postponed. The vaccine is free of charge and targets girls under 10 years and aims to reach over 800,000 girls across the country. Investments have been made in strengthening cancer research, diagnosis and management through the establishment of radiotherapy and chemotherapy units in Nyeri, Meru, Embu, Mombasa, Nakuru, Garissa, Bomet, Kakamega, Kisumu, and Machakos. Further to this, I'm glad to note that the newly completed Kenyatta University Hospital will be operational by the end of this month, providing increased access to cancer management through its state-of-the-art cancer services. Also, through our National Hospital Insurance Fund, Kenyans are now able to access the oncology package. The package targets cancer management by use of basic and complex chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and support to diagnostic and staging radiology services, which so far has benefited a large number of Kenyans. As a government, we recognize that effective delivery of the interventions that I have enumerated above will depend on the vitality of our health systems and in a strong and responsive primary health care approach. Therefore, jointly with our county governments, I believe we remain committed to ensuring universal health care coverage currently at the tail end of the pilot phase will be implemented at scale across the entire republic. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as I conclude, it is important to note that making significant health gains from the measures we are taking will also require that each and every Kenyan takes responsibility for their health. Specifically, each and every one of us must ensure that we try to lead a healthy lifestyle and routinely and early enough seek appropriate screening services. And therefore, my fellow Kenyans, we must all participate regularly in the physical activities that we can and proceed to control the use of harmful substances to our bodies.